Hi, have funny. Hi guys, welcome to today's video and thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to this channel, it's a chubbiness and we appreciate your presence. And we hope that by the end of this video, you click the subscribe button to join this amazing and wonderful family. And if you are a returning subscriber, Kama Kawaida, thank you for your support and we appreciate you. So my loves, today I'll be taking you through our bonding session with my sister, my younger sister. I'll be doing a makeup while we just bond, like talk and share memories and you know, name it. So guys, watch this video until the end and let me know, is it a yay or a nay? Yeah, I'm not a professional, I just do makeup for fun. Yeah, and who knows, maybe some years to come, I might be a very professional more so leave a comment and let me know what do you think What is your biggest achievement so far that you're proud of? My biggest, biggest achievement mm -hmm. having kids. Oh, that's like my number one achievement that I'm so super proud of. Like, I don't know, you, you don't know what it means, eh? obviously, do you? <laughs> <laughs> but it means so much to me the fact that I've made like three beautiful babies. Eh? Mm. Means so much. Mother of three. Yeah, I'm a mother of three. I'm an aunt of so many. Oh my god. I'm a mother of three very beautiful kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's my biggest achievement so far. When I was in high school, mm -hmm. my dream was always to have kids. As weird as it sounds, mm -hmm. that was my biggest dream. So Nikimaliza High School, mm. I always told my friends, eh? mm. and Lucy can tell you that. Eh? Mm. I always told them I wanted kids before I even join college. Like I wanted to have a kid so bad. So mm. so bad. Like it was my priority. Mm. Queen Yashule wasn't as much, but having kids eh? mm. was my priority. Yeah, so oh, having kids nice. was my priority. Mm. So that's why I had kids. So Nagum at nineteen. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is nice. And here I am today with three amazing kids. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. um, what do you admire most from dad and mom? Wow. What I admire most from my parents? Eh? Mm -hmm. Their marriage. Yeah, me too. Yeah, their marriage. Those days I've stayed for my 30 plus years. Eh? Mm -hmm. And it's been amazing. And I mean, they have raised us Vizuri. Mm. Vizuri Kabisa. Like, I feel like they did a good job. But sometimes I feel like I'm failing as a parent. Because how the <laughs> did they manage to raise I know. <laughs> you are the greatest parents, by the way. Yeah, Come yeah. to think of it. I've never met any, any that surpasses them. But yeah, I'm proud of them. I love them so much. I know mom will be watching this. 
Love you. Um, what would you wish to have told your younger self as a game changer? As for now, like, whatever you never did that you probably would have done differently. Yeah, differently. Mm-hmm. It will have a different impact now, a positive impact now. But I don't think there is something I can tell my younger self. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like whatever my dreams were, mm-hmm. they are so aligned. Mm. Like for example, I told you I wanted kids before mm. I go to school, and that's what I did. And God like answered that prayer. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I've not failed at any point. I know I've had some challenges, challenges in life. Mm. Things that when I look back, I'm like, hey. but I feel like they made me who I am today. Without yeah. them, single kwa ni mifika where I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those crazy things that happened to me and everything else. I feel like. They they molded me. So it's easy change. I feel like I can just do whatever I did over and over again. Okay. Another question. Mm-hmm. If not Kenya, what other country would you have loved to be in? Like, in short, like, what's your favorite country apart from Kenya? Okay. If you're told, if you're told to like, go to another country. Mm-hmm. Pick your favorite country. You would have wished to be a citizen of that country, or maybe you said in there, whatever. Yes. USA. <laughs> US. Is it even a country? Yeah, I guess. Is it a it's continent? A, I don't know. Whatever it is. It's, 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 Ukiwako, you can really grow. As much as people will say, Ukiwako, and you're like earning this amount of money, you don't need to go. You need to change. You need to have challenges eh, so that you grow. So you don't have any fears in that. Like, I always have this fear of when I go to, let's say, to the United States, mm-hmm. there's a lot of this. Is it? I can mm-hmm. see myself facing that, like, crazy removal all things. Mm-hmm. Will you be okay? Like, you don't have any, what do you call it? You don't have any. Fears. fears. Of course, I do have fears because you know when you, when you go to a different country, mm-hmm. it's like starting all, all over again. No, no. Mm-hmm. So sometimes we fear like that new start. Mm-hmm. As much as it sounds like interesting and like you know, like when a lot of things new and like you can rewrite your story. Mm-hmm. But I feel like sometimes we're really scared of new beginnings. Mm-hmm. One one of them being. New. Mm-hmm. I'm really scared of new beginnings. Okay. And if you're to be in the United States and the rest of the family is back in Kenya, are you okay with that? Are you be super lonely? okay. You're okay. Hi. Yeah. Hey, what do you mean scared? Me, I'm super okay with that. Are you be super lonely? Okay. You're okay. Hi. Yeah. Hey, what do you mean scared? Me, I'm super okay. Like, what? For me, what it, will be, it will be the most challenging thing nah. ever because I feel like I always need support. I always need like to see my family and mm. friends. You only need to ask me what, do, what should I do? How can I do this? <laughs> what do I have to do? Who is your biggest mentor? The one person that inspires you the most mm. mm-hmm. in this life. Mm. 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 Okay, can you guess before I even say? Can I give me a sec? Huh? Mm, let me guess. My dad. <laughs> oh, your dad. <laughs> Ma? Daddy. Mm-hmm. Not really. Okay, mm-hmm. he is, but you see, like the biggest. Mm-hmm. I feel like oh, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. like the biggest, biggest, biggest amount. See, you know, even after, without explaining, mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. that they start working from the go getter. So sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm not even doing like one percent. It's been so much. Yeah. <laughs> so he really encourages me to like be better. You know. Because if you look at us from when we started until where we are right now, mm. you can really see a lot of improvement. There's growth. Like said, there's yeah. growth I can't one. testify. I've been there all along. Yeah. <laughs> there's growth. Eh? And the fact that he's very patient with me. See, wale wa kukupele kambia kambi. Do this. Do this. He's one of the best people I know. And he's yeah. generous. He's, he's a good, he's a good but man. But I don't like that part. part of <laughs> He's very too generous. Oh, he's too generous. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the
<laughs> which is okay. I always feel like, like they are very really similar in a lot similar. of characters. Mm, that's my dad literally. Like, I'm going to go to the piano. You don't like that is supposed to be a flex or a... <laughs> but it's a good thing. No, it's not a good thing. It is, but... I feel like your family should always come first, regardless. Mm. Will be right inside my nose and wondering what's that? What's that inside my nose? It's a stopper, guys. It's a stopper. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. What yeah. look are we going for? A simple <laughs> bridal <laughs> look. <laughs> bridal <laughs> look. <laughs> are we going for a calm look? What look are we doing for? Yeah, so you're just doing a thing. <laughs> I hope it's not a bridal look. I'm scared of bridal looks. What? I don't know. It's just too much. It really looks full, full of fully baked. <laughs> like, I'm usually so scared. But it's okay. So but you I don't want a bridal look? No, not a bridal look, please. <laughs> yeah. And to money? What does happiness mean to you and how do you how do you perceive it? Happiness. Yeah. So what does it mean to me? Mm-hmm. It means the whole world. Mm-hmm. For me, when I'm peaceful, mm-hmm. I'm happy. Okay? Mm-hmm. And when I have a peaceful family, mm-hmm. that's like maybe the world to me. Because you see, you can't have happiness without peace. Okay? Mm-hmm. So you have to be peaceful. Do that. I feel like these things are connected. Mm. Peace, it's money, a cycle. happiness. It's not that it's connected. It doesn't have an so end. It's just a cycle running over and like over. That. Very simple. Very deep. Very cute. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Guys, um, I'm not even aware how it looks. I have to look at this when it's done. Yeah, you have to be patient. I hope it looks. What do you mean you hope? When you don't know who's working on you? Hmm? The best pickup artist. Yes, oh, the best. <laughs> and it's still saying you hope. Hmm? You may decide to go, to go, to go abroad today. <laughs> you decide you to do a facelift with me. <laughs> My sister, my sister, oh, sister, 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 what annoys you the most about me? Hey, yeah, be open. It's an open field. <laughs> Just be open. What annoys me the most about me? I know I'm pretty annoying sometimes. So you, yeah. Just, yeah, it's good that you know that is one. Mm-hmm. So, what really annoys me about you? Mm-hmm. You don't believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, mm. like, na kama, you don't really trust you can do things. Mm? Greater things. No, for you. Mm-hmm. You always tell me that. Yeah. I've told you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple of times. Yes. Mfemi kama, how do you mean it's with you? What is that? I feel like it's too weird. <laughs> what is that? It's cold. I'll change on that. <laughs> like we literally, yeah. you have to ask everything and anything. Mm. Huh? Mm. You want to? You want me to give you an example? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you really want to? <laughs> uh-huh. mm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't. <laughs> no. Oh.
Hey, look at the most amazing thing about me. Me as a thing. Me and another man. Plus one, plus two. Uh, I feel like that's like my deal breaker with you. Mm. You are trolling me now. They are really petty. <laughs> it was a petty, it's petty, petty, petty. No, you're not petty. I'm saying some of those things are like petty, petty. Mm. Mm. It's not something of like once and for all. But you need to believe in yourself. Okay, and what do you love the most about me? What I love the most. Mm. Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> What I love everything about you. Everything. You're amazing. Thank you. I love you too. You're amazing. Like sometimes I wonder if I didn't have you as a sister. Whoever and the kupata. The luckiest. The luckiest. Mm-hmm. You've been a great, a great sister yourself. Yeah. Ever since he took the day, guys, we lost I our know. first born sister. Yeah, but now you you have always been the first born sister, like the eldest in the family. Even though you're not the eldest really. kid, but you've been wonderful. Thank, okay. thank you for that. Thank you, have fun. That means so much. Yeah, you've you've been like, hey, guys, that has been on the idea, but you've been the best. Yeah. So we are going to go in with this. I feel like she doesn't want so much. So we're going to do. Mm-hmm. No like glitter. Like uh, glitter for me today. Glitter, but not like too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite TV show? TV show. Currently. Mm-hmm. Uh, can sisters count? Sisters. How many episodes are going to come? The 16th of October. Okay. Matongo. <laughs> guys, I have Matongo. <laughs> At this time of the day. Eh. Hey. I What are you currently addicted to? Can I try this one? <laughs> I feel like you're addicted to ice cream. What? Love like ice cream. <laughs> Yo. Is it an addict? I am an addict. Hey, that guy can do good for me. He's come on, he came to New York in the room. Hmm. But I like my ice cream. But my sour in me. In a kubalika. So tell me, what are you addicted to? Mm. Mm. Okay. Am I addicted to something? Currently, like it genuinely feel like you you I can't do without. Yeah, uh, like all the time. I feel like what I'm really really addicted to that you don't know. Mm. I'm addicted to fun. Yeah, See me? me too. I'm addicted to fun like so much. I spend like a lot of time consuming. I think like most of the fun uh, like fun I don't know if it's a good thing. I feel like it's one of the most 
unhealthy subjects that people have mm. because in a community kufanya vitu mingi personally din alicha shida ma wacha mtali no na much all the time but you must stop right and i do it because of my fun and still you can yes. stop so
Hi my loves, thank you for watching till this far. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and share with your friends. Until the next video guys, bye. And please don't forget to let me know what you think about this makeup. And if you guys think it's a yay or a nay.